Good morning, I'm Larry Bank, and I'm a open source software author as one of the things that I do, as well as my optimization consulting. Today I'm showing off some of the work I've done for Arduino, Raspberry Pi, other embedded systems for open source. And a lot of my work lately has been focused on displays, specifically types of displays uh, such as e-paper. And this is a one of the slower, lower priced uh, versions of e-paper. But the same technology is used in book readers and now in video monitors. And this is a project uh, that I created earlier this year called Fast EPD. And this allows you to use open source code to drive these beautiful high resolution displays used in e-readers. This is a Kindle Paperwhite 300 dot per inch display. And this is using my JPEG library integrated into the e-ink library. And with this, it is much more accessible now to do your own projects on these displays that normally were out of reach for makers or required you to reverse engineer or hack a Kindle. Now you can buy the display, connect it to an open source hardware board and drive it with your own software. And this is all open source as well for this type of display. The hardware is open source as well. So this shows off uh, some of the optimization work that I've done in software and the GitHub address is right there. And my friend Martin created this uh, PC board and it's open source as well. So with this low power micro from Nordic, uh, you can have something running on a coin cell with a clock that updates every five seconds and the battery can last for months, not hours. And this is due to some of the optimizations I put into my code as well as just using the best use of the right microcontroller for the job. And this is very economical to make something like this. And so is so these displays are a little more expensive and require a little more power, but you have more speed, more resolution, more options. This one even has a front light so you can read it at night. So that's most of uh, what I'm showing off here today. I also have a project creator for bringing all my open source libraries together into a more complex project where you can choose the device, the sensor, the display, and create a, a more granular example instead of struggling with each individual piece and trying to fit them together. So I'm trying to reduce frustration and give more options for open source makers. Thanks.